स्लो ट्रेन्स बियर विटनेस टू लाइफ चेंजेस इन साउथ ओस्ट चाइना दिस इज ए भयस अफ लिव उ कंडक्टर अफ ट्रेन फाइव सिक्स थ्री थ्री एंड फाइव सिक्स थ्री फोर पब्लिश्ड इन न्यू चाइना टी ऑन थर्टीट जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू नाउ इट्स ए बिगर Our slow trains still liked by the common people of China. This is the description of a slow train traversing in a mountainous region of Sichuan. In an age of ever extending high speed rail networks and a race for efficiency, slow trains with an average speed of less than 40 km per hour are still running. in mountains and deserts in remote corners of china carrying the hopes of local people the slow trains move forward steadily and surely with a unique rhythm that has not changed for more than 50 years the 5633 and 5634 train running between pushion township and panjishua City still maintains its initial speed at an average of less than 40 km per hour. The whole journey is 376 km with 26 stops along the way. The entire journey takes 11 hours and 4 minutes. The highest fare is 25.5 yuan about 3.9 US dollars. and the lowest fare is 2 e1 the fares have remained unchanged for more than 30 years the train runs through the villages which are home to people of e ethnic group we travel through daliang mountains which literally means big mountain local villagers rely on this slow train to travel outside For many locals, the trains mean more than just transport. They bring opportunities for better livelihoods, such as employment, healthcare, and education for residents far away region. Li Wei says the train is full of students almost every Friday and Sunday. They do homework on the train. For many villagers the slow train is also a mobile market the filo villagers bring their farm products on board and trade the goods while commuting they can make money even before reaching their destination over the past decades the trains have borne witness to the changes that have occurred in nearby regions as residents gradually rose above the poverty line and embraced better lives in the past many ethnic e people passed down clothing from the eldest child to the youngest one to save money but today their outfits are totally on trend because it is very fashionable now Sometimes they even wear well-known brands. Looking out of the window, we could only find barren lands, but now mountains are green and the water is clear. On flatter lands, now we can see new houses and even town houses have been built. Liu also says what surprises me is that among the students who travel outside by the slow train there are more and more girls i also hope that i will continue to work on this slow train so that i can see more children here head out of the mountains and live a better life because the slow train brings vitality to the mountain now liu we 46 has been working on the slow train for 28 years he says this train has borne witness to the history 
in the mountains and the hope for the better life it brings people closer the train is indispensable in my life as i am to the train thank you